Good morning. Hey everyone. It's um, 5 a.m. and we're gonna go on a road trip. Yes. I'm ready. I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> I only slept three hours. I don't know how you did it. I know. I'm so tired. Hopefully I can sleep in the car. I, I think you will. We are heading to Scranton first. Well, we're going to Holly, uh, no, sorry, not we're Hollywood. Holy Land. Holy Land, USA, USA. In Connecticut. In Connecticut, just to do a pit stop. Then we're going to Scranton for another pit stop to do a bunch of pictures and stuff with the office stuff. Then Hershey. Then Hershey, Pennsylvania. Hopefully we'll make it at a reasonable time. Yep. And then we'll do that for a day, and then we'll go down to Pittsburgh for some stuff. Mr. Some Rogers. Mr. Rogers things. Yep. going to be fun. A lot then, of fun, actually. Yeah. Oh, not just a little fun. A lot no, it's going to be a lot of fun. And Virginia for Bush Gardens, Williamsburg. So right. that'll be our trip. You'll be along with us. So we'll keep checking in. And I also wanted to show what we got for food supplies, I guess. That's a good idea. I'm going to put the light on. Okay, so we did a big BJ's haul for this trip. We got uh, chips and bananas, cereal, some protein cookies, sandwich stuff. We got cookies in little bags, jerky, gum. Uh, we got our pretzels that are buckled in because they keep moving. <laughs> and we just got our cooler. We got some Powerades under there, a bunch of variety pack. We did a little hack where we took a cereal bin and put a trash bag inside it. So we have some trash there and some extra bags in there. Paper towels and a 40 pack of water because we're drinkers of water. I think that's all we got for foods, and then all of our stuff is in the trunk. It's not that bad. It's not that crowded in here for a seven-day trip. I don't think it's going to be too bad. And, uh, yeah, so here we are. He's 453. Let's go. Getting some gas. Getting some gas. <laughs> There's one nice thing about being up this early. You get to see the sunrise. We're over here in Salem with the, uh, the ocean right over there. Pretty pretty. Well, we made it. We're at the Holy Land. Holy Land, USA. Pumped. There's a gate here, so we couldn't park inside, but I don't think you need to. Because it's pretty open to the public, I think. It said 24 hours, so we're just going to make ourselves welcome. Look at the little uh, things. You Oh, should we go into Jerusalem, Holy Land, or Bethlehem? Which one should we go through? Holy Land. Oh, Holy Land, okay. There's no, um, there's no holy water, so how am I supposed to bless myself? Oh, here we go. It's huge. Oh, you can kind of walk through it. So I guess they've been like taking care of it, sort of, like redoing it. That's been like abandoned and dilapidating for a while. Oh, there used to be a pond in here. Do you know who Herod is? Herod. Herod. Oh, look at look at this backdrop here. It's pretty. We're in um, Waterbury. Well, let's just take a little walk through. This looks kind of creepy. Ooh. Let's see what's in this cage thing. Oh, it's like the nativity, but it was. Oh, what's this say? The word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Okay, I don't know anything about Catholicism, so I'm kind of lost there. Let's see what else we got here. Look, it's just like a bunch of like the rocks are painted to look like buildings. It's pretty cool. Though. Yeah, it is cool. Huh. There's not like much details. <laughs> Was that say no vacancy at the end? Yeah. <laughs> Got turned away, right? Yeah, I know. There's a well. I don't know what that is. There's a it's cross a way up there. We saw that when we were driving in. Yeah. Some of this stuff is just like falling apart still. There's little buildings over there. The, it doesn't look like you can walk around too much. 
This is like just the pathway we went down with cinder blocks. <laughs> and there's not a whole lot here really. It's just like a you know side of a rock with a bunch of church stuff on it. So that's pretty cool. Neat little find. We uh just came here because it was like halfway from Massachusetts to Scranton, so figured check out Holy Land USA. Let's look around over here a little bit. Oh yeah, there's some stuff over here. Oh wow, it keeps going. I think that used to say Bethlehem Village. Tomb of St. John the Baptist. Garden of Geth... Gethsma Gethsmane. Jesus is condemned to death. Well, that's scary. Well, I'm not walking all the way up there. It's too steep. Can you make out any of the stuff up there? It says Mount Sion. Oh yeah, Mount Sion. Jesus R something. Jesus, Jesus and, and something with Veronica. a V. Veronica? Who's Veronica? Huh. Interesting. There's a bunch of like tombstones up there for Jesus. I don't know what that is. I don't know much about Christianity, so I'm kind of lost there. There's a bunch more buildings up here. Well, I think this is, I think those things mark the passion. Oh, yeah, you walk up that stairway, or used to. Look, there's like, if you see inside there, if I zoom in, there used to be guardrails and they're kind of broken down now. But you walk all the way up there. I don't know what's up there. Oh, is it the tomb? It says King's Tomb. I don't know what that means. Do you know what the king's tomb is? Jesus was the king. Was he buried there? I don't know. And then he rose again like a day or two later. <laughs> Rejoice with me for I found my sheep. That was lost. That was lost. Well, that's nice. Glad he found his sheep. Ugh, so weird. Now they label this as a theme park, I think. Maybe it was. It looks like it could have been. It look, there's things. still guardrails up here. The stairs. You definitely could have walked up and, you know, I guess looked at this stuff. I don't think there's anything you can really do with it. There's a temple up there. And there's like, is that the Ten Commandments numbers? I Maybe. guess that symbolizes it. Yeah. And they might have been a. Uh, no, no, I guess they weren't around it or anything. Unless they put them behind here. I don't see the Ten Commandments anywhere. You'd think they'd have like them listed somewhere. Maybe they did. Oh, it's just a long pathway down here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's some stuff over there. I can't really read that. I'm not gonna... I don't know if we want to go that far. Because... There's just like crosses up there. I don't think there's gonna be too much. The Lord is my shepherd. It's way more dilapidated over here. Yeah, we're not gonna go all the way up there. That was interesting though. It's a nice little, it's nice over here. It's quiet, there's crickets. And you get this really cool, cool view of the Waterbury, I guess. Look at the city over there. That's pretty neat. Yeah. Alright, well that was our first stop. I guess we'll get back in the car and uh, do a little quick stop at McDonald's and then head to Scranton. Scranton, PA. Whoop, whoop. Oh, yeah. Hey, I finally got the welcome sign. There we go, Pennsylvania. Welcome to Pennsylvania. Yay. Where are you at? Very mountainy over here. Scranton, woo! Scranton.
Scranton, Scranton. In a quarter mile, oh, look, Lacona. Where do they have a coal mine tour? So we're going to the Seam Town Mall first. I just missed a bunch of the welcome signs. Maybe I'll put them in the video. I took pictures. Nice. Yes. I just wanted to film a little bit of uh, well, driving in. Nothing really looks familiar over here. Mm -hmm. Kind of a downtown city. Let's see if I can go closer that way. I think there's like a welcome sign up there we can see. A lot of high rises too. Coney Island lunch. Hmm, interesting. So I think that's the mall ahead of us. Yeah, the marketplace at Steamtown. Alright, so that's where we're headed. We're here at the Steamtown Mall and they have an aquarium. They have an Electric City Aquarium. Well, those shark. Oh, we can take a picture next to the shark. And there's a gift shop over here as well. That looks so cool. I didn't know this was here. There's a nice little fountain over here. It's a pretty big mall. Two floors. Oh, someone climbing up there. Really weird. So this is the aquarium entrance. I don't know. Let's see how much it is. It's open 10 to 6 or 11 to 6 on Sundays and it is let's see it's $18.95 for adults $15.95 for children it's not bad at the mall and I just found the perfect book that I need I don't know how much this, how much are these I really want this so cute. This is really cool. I've never even heard of this. I love it. Okay, so right next to the book sale, down this hallway, we have the Crunch Fitness place. Yeah. And we got the Scranton sign. Here it is! Welcome to Scranton. Oh, it's so cute. That's really cool. And they have like a green that you can stand on to take pictures. So we'll take a picture together, right? Well, we'll take a picture of me, I guess. Yeah. I Yay. Will. <laughs> Is that good? We're at Pennsylvania Paper and Supply Company, and there's the pen paper tower. Isn't that cool? So cool. I love it. That's really cool. There's Alfredo's. Alfredo's Pizza Restaurant. That's the China Buffet. Oh, I love China Buffet. Oh, maybe it's Pretzel Buffet. Mm. Alfredo's. We are here at Alfredo's Pizza and Restaurant. And there's a bunch of hedges in the front of it, which looks a lot like Disney. Let's go take a look, Ski. Think we're gonna have some pizza? Yeah. I'm, I'm excited for pizza. Now is this the entrance? I think it's on the other side, huh? Yeah. That's the inside of Alfredo's Pizza Cafe. We're gonna have some lunch. And we got, oh, we got specials. This looks really good. It's a little expensive for that stuff, but let's see. Oh, the desserts look amazing. Fried ice cream. Yum. That was a big menu here. Fried asparagus, that's interesting. That was more desserts. Stuff. Yeah, our pizza came out. I got the half half pan of uh, the thick crust pizza. That's what looks like Sicilian. <laughs> and uh, you got the thin crust margarita pizza. It smells really good. It has mozzarella and basil on it. So, hi guys. Hello. 
We're just going to review uh, our day at Scranton, as you saw. Very fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, yeah. it was driving. fun for me because I wanted to go to Scranton. Yeah, you're an office time. fanatic. Yeah. So we just wanted to give the lowdown because I couldn't find much about going to Scranton and seeing all the sites for the office. I found a couple pictures and stuff. So I wrote down all the places that you could go. And um, we started at the Steamtown Mall, which has the welcome sign from the beginning of the credits. Yes. And it has a perfect picture opportunity. It has a little tarp, uh, not tarp, um, turf it's you like can a turf. stand it's on. It's a whole platform. Yeah, so you can just take a picture next to it, and there's no one around really. It's just next to the Crunch Fitness in the mall. Um, and there's some other stores and stuff, but they didn't have much for a screen. There's not much there. It's not like big names stores right. either. It's yeah. just local things or something. They did have an aquarium, which I was surprised yeah, about. Yeah, we didn't get to go in, but we wanted to. It was like that's, $20 a person, right? Yeah, I mean, that's something you can do if like... You know, you have like 20, 30 minutes to spend there. You want to do that. That's That makes sense. It looked like it might have been two floors also. Yeah, it looked kind of big. And um, parking there was just a garage underneath the mall, and you can get your parking validated. Up so. to three hours, yeah. Yes, it's free. it's free. So that was our first stop. And then we just took a picture of Cooper's Seafood Restaurant. You could actually eat there. It opens at 11, so if you want to get lunch or dinner, seafood place, I'd, I'd recommend going there. I don't know if it's good or not, but... You know, that's the only place really that you can stay and we the place we went to, which was Alfredo's Pizza Cafe. So you, you were driving when we went to Cooper's and I yeah. don't think you saw, but there was like a big octopus on the building and stuff. Oh, that's cool. Like a... It looks nice from the website, so I assume it's a decent restaurant. Yeah. And I don't know if there's parking in front of it. I didn't see. This we didn't is, go down that street. This is more of an industrial place. It's not like there's a whole lot of parking everywhere, it's so... not a touristy place either. Expect to just drive by places. Yeah. Um, pen paper that's in the credits, the big tall tower building. Um, we took, we drove by that, took some video and pictures as you saw, and then we also stopped there just to see. I read that some people went into this Pennsylvania paper supply place, and they have some paraphernalia for the office for sale. I guess I don't know. We didn't go in there because I really felt awkward. It felt weird. <laughs> it felt like it was an office building and people were just working. I didn't want to walk in there and find out for sure. So if any of you do, just let us know. Or if you did before, you can let us know in the comments. And um, where else did we go? We went to pizza. We drove by a bowling alley which had Poor Richards in it. But Poor Richards was closed. doesn't open until 5 p.m. And we were there around 11 a.m. Yeah, the pictures look like it's literally just in the uh, bowling alley, which yeah. we weren't going to walk into in the middle of the day if yeah. we weren't bowling. So. You don't have time to bowl, no. Um, if you want to take a picture there, get a drink, whatever, it depends what time you get there. And um, the last place we went was Alfredo's Pizza Cafe, and it's a, you know, standard Italian place. Yeah. It had pretty good pizza. Your pizza was My amazing. pizza was really good. I got a, it wasn't called a margarita pizza, but it was. Mm -hmm. It was just mozzarella, basil, and a thin crust. Yeah, and the thin crust was really good. And you got like a Sicilian style pizza, but it wasn't yes. called the Sicilian. <clears throat> it was called, what was it called? Uh, deep, no, oh, thick crust, I think. It was thick crust, and it was they cut in it, squares. Yeah, they sell it by the pan. You can get a half pan, which was what I got, six pieces, or a, half, a full pan, which was like $14, so seven and 14 It wasn't bad. I mean, the cheese they used was different. It's like this cheddar American. It's like an American cheddar instead of an Italian. I just said that. <laughs> cheddar American American cheddar. Well, what is cheddar American? It's the same thing. It's a, it was like a blend, and it was very melty and uh got stuck to my teeth a lot which was jarring like i don't want that all over my pizza so it was good at first like a grilled cheese almost but then as you're eating it you get kind of sick of it sticking to your mouth right. and your teeth and so i only ate a couple pieces i tried it a little bit and i couldn't eat anymore yeah the crust was really good um the tomato sauce i liked a lot too but the cheese was just eh. i would if you're gonna get it because it says alfredo's famous pizza yep. that's why i ordered it um, but if you don't like that type of cheese, maybe order it, say you want mozzarella instead of whatever cheese they put on top of it. I don't even know. Um, but the waiter was very nice. It, he did apologize because it took us a little longer to get our food than everyone else. I don't know why. Right. The people who sat down <laughs> after us, like had their food before we even, before you even had your salad. Yeah. It is a big place though. So they have some seating outside that you saw from the outside basically it has those hedges in front of it. It's in a plaza. So there's plenty of parking. Um, but you can sit outside. There's like three different rooms inside as well. If you want, you know, to have a whole family there, you could have, there's tons of space and there's a bar. So it's a good place to sit down and have a meal. I mean, we wanted to take a break because this is on our road trip. So um, that or the Coopers would probably be your best bets to take a, a stop and relax for a bit. Right. Um, 
didn't really see anything else in Scranton, to be honest. No. There's not a whole lot. It's very there business. Was, there was a train, National Historic Monument. Mm -hmm. We drove by it. We didn't go in. No, there wasn't anything to stop and see. It was like a train stop right. with old trains at it. So I don't really know how you can go see them. Um, if anyone else has any suggestions on Scranton visits or if there's something around there that you've seen before, if you've done this trip, let us know in the comments. And uh, hope you enjoyed our little trip to Scranton. I did. Uh, yeah, yeah, I had fun. <laughs> it was cool. Yeah, so uh, check out our other videos and we'll continue on our road trip right now.